Good afternoon everybody, welcome back to Sarpsoft. Uh, today I wanted to do another Canucks video. Um, and uh, this is in collaboration with Tarpsoft too, even though he's not with me right now. Um, this is our Canucks lineup made of players from the 90s to the present. Um, and we did a whole um, complete lineup, four forward lines and three defensive lines, as well as a goalie tandem. Um, and uh, yeah, let's jump into it. So this is just on my iPad right here, um, so I'm reading off of this. Uh, so to start out with, our first line, we have Daniel Sedin, obviously, Henrik Sedin, obviously, and Marcus Naslund. So Daniel on the right wing, Sedin at center, and Naslund on left wing. Um, yeah, the high Swedish line, um, the Ortskoldvik Sweden line, I probably butchered that, so if you're Swedish and you want to say it properly, um, absolutely do come at me. Um, I welcome your criticism and your uh, comments about that. Um, yeah, so that would be a brilliant line uh, for the Canucks. Um, it would be really fun to see those three guys um, play together on one line um, now. Uh, just with uh, Henrik and Dennis Steen's obvious chemistry, um, with Naslin being a player who mentioned them and the Caps and their Canuck, the Canucks um, and their like first. Yeah, I guess they kept them when they came into the league. Um, so yeah, that would be the first line. Uh, second line would be uh, Pavel Burry on left wing, Bo Horvat at center, and Alex Burrows on right wing. Um, yeah, Horvat, uh, obviously our captain now, uh, core piece of the team. Uh, Pavel Burry, one of the streakiest goal scorers uh, in the game. Uh, big Canucks guy. Um, like barely big for the team. And Alex Burrows, personally one of my favorite players ever. Um, had a few huge goals in that 2011 Stanley Cup run, played with the Twins, um, but we threw him on the second line for this one. Uh, third line, we got Yannick Hansen on left wing, Trevor Linden at center, and Todd Bertuzzi on right wing. Um, so Yannick Hansen, the Honey Badger, um, he's a Danish guy, and uh, he played with the Twins. Uh, when he did with, did play with the Twins, he had one of his highest uh, scoring seasons, I think, ever in his career. Uh, Trevor Linden, obviously captain on two separate occasions for the Canucks, both before and after he got traded um, away from the team and back to the team. And then Tom Bertuzzi, um, one of the members of the West Coast Express. Um, premier power forward of his time, gritty guy, um, and yeah. I'm not going to mention the incidents, but uh, yeah, top of Tuesday. That's our third line. Uh, fourth line is uh, made up of players that are currently on the Canucks. Elias Pedersen um, on left wing, JT Millet center, and Connor Garland on right wing. Obviously Pedersen, uh, one of the franchise pieces of this Canucks team. A brilliant player. JT Miller is on a tear right now. Just had his goal. Or a point streak ended at 13 games. Uh, first player to get one of those um, since Henrik Sedin did it back in the day. And Connor Garland. Um, yeah, hopefully we keep him. Connor Garland, I uh, hope we keep him. Uh, the trade deadline's coming up soon. Um, but uh, yeah, I hope we keep him. He's a good player. Uh, creates open space and he's a catalyst for this team. Uh, he's doing really well for the first six games of the season. <laughs> Uh, fell off a bit, but he's still still a solid piece. Um, you'll notice that Brock Besser isn't on this list, but uh, we're in his jersey, and I hope we keep him too. Just a little ramblings. All right, on to the defensive pairings. So, first defensive pairing, I got Quinn Hughes and Kevin Bieksa. Quinn, obviously franchise defenseman. Bieksa, what a character guy. Scored some big goals as well. Uh, strong. Uh, defensive player and a uh, bit of a, a goon, a bruiser. Uh, so if anyone's going after Patterson, he could take them down in a hurry. Um, yes, yeah, so that's the first defensive pairing. Uh, next up, we got Matthias Oland and Sammy Sallow. So uh, the Viking and uh, the old number six, who retired after, I believe, the 2011 season. 
Um, or the season after that, I can't really remember. <coughs> Uh, but yeah, two premier defensemen uh, that are both in the Canucks, and uh, they would be a great second pairing. And the third pairing, I got Alex Edler, who is now currently on the LA Kings. I uh, feel like he should get a uh, Ring of Honor nomination, and Ed Jovanovsky on the other side. Um, also, two great defensemen uh, that would really work as a third pairing. And then uh, goaltending tandem, I got Thatcher Demko as a starter. Because he's doing great right now. Uh, Roberto Luongo as the backup. Who's retired. Has a number of raised to the Raptors in Florida. And Kirk McLean as the third string goaltender. Um, he was great for us in 94. Made the save. Uh, Denko did an awesome tribute to him when the Canucks uh, wore their skate jerseys against Calgary. Um, like The pads and everything were all pretty much identical in terms of color. The mask was the same. All that stuff it was really great. Um, and so, yeah, those would be the three goaltenders that we would have as our goaltending tandem. Um, so, yeah, that's the ideal Canucks team uh, that Tarpsoft 2 and I um, would like to have. I'll do a small disclaimer saying that Tarpsoft 2 really helped out with this. My original list, just off the top of my head, was uh, much worse, and I would get <laughs> a lot of hate from uh, Canucks fans if I propose that list. Um, so he helped me out with this one. Um, and yeah, just a fun little video here. Um, yeah, so that's what uh, Tops Off uh, 2 and I would have. Um, yeah, so go follow me on Instagram at tarps underscore off 57. Um, go follow me on Twitch, it's where I do my, my gaming videos at glove604. Subscribe. If you feel like it, and absolutely smash that like button. I will see you guys next time.